before you sit down and take your A-plus certification exam, there's some best practices, some tips you should really think about doing before you sit down and take that certification. One is to make sure you know the certification exam objectives. Go to comptia.org and download the certification objectives for the exam you're going to take, the bridge exam, the 701 exam, or the 702 exam. Read through all of them. If there's any part of those certification requirements you don't know, make sure that you study up and become familiar with them before you go in to take the exam. And you may, of course, want to watch these videos. Make sure you're uh, familiar with all of this information. I'm going through these requirements documents as well, and our videos are going to cover everything from every single one of those requirements documents. So we're going to try to give you as much information as possible to also help you pass that exam. We've got other IT professionals out there that have taken the exam. They're in the process of studying for the exam. You can always come to our commu online community forums on professormesser.com forums. There's also a forums link at the top of every page. Leave your question there. I'll answer it. Other people are monitoring those forums. We'll be glad to help you out in any way that you can. And before you go and take the exam, Make sure you know the testing location you're going to, and make sure that you're ready to take it. Get plenty of sleep, get enough to eat. Those are things you, you almost don't think about. You're so nervous about taking the exam. You really need to make sure that you are in a place where you're comfortable and that you have everything you need before walking in so that you don't have to worry about anything else. You're focused only on passing that exam. If it's too cold, if it's too hot, Tell them right then. They're supposed to have a testing environment that is for you that is completely comfortable. Nothing should be bothering you. And they, they probably told you this when you walked in. Let us know if you need anything. So don't, don't even think about it. Get up and let them know it's a little loud out here or it's very, very cold in this room. Can you do something about that? And they'll be glad to help you out with those pieces of it. There's also, obviously, a limited amount of time here. You've got 90 minutes to pass some of these exams. If you're not quite certain of the answer, there's a mark button at the top of the screen. Mark the question, go the next one. You can always, before you complete the exam, go back to any of those marked questions. You can jump all over the test. It's not linear. You don't have to go forward and then go back a certain number. You can jump to any number at any time. So if you ever get stuck on something or you want to come back to it, I think it's going to take you a while. Mark it and go to the next question. At the end, it will tell you every question that you have marked. And you can easily click on any of those questions and jump right back to it. So very simple. And make sure you take advantage of that. That can really help you from a time management perspective. Before you submit the exam, before you hit that final button that says, I am submitting this exam for grading, go back and check. If you've got time left, go through every single question. Very often, a question later on in the exam will answer a question at the beginning of the exam. And you'll start piecing together this information. Something later on in the exam might jog your memory about something you were asked about earlier or vice versa. So make sure you read all the way through it. Make sure you didn't miss anything before you start submitting this exam. And you'll know immediately if you passed or not. You'll get the message on the screen that says you passed. Here's your score. It will print out for you a copy of your certification. Make sure you get that stamped and signed version of your certification results before you leave the testing center. Even if you didn't pass, this becomes useful because you're able to try again right then and pass the exam. If you fail twice in a row, however, you have to wait 30 days for your third attempt at this. So this is something you have to think about whenever you're planning when you're going to take the exam. Some people will take the exam. They'll come right back the next day and take it again because it's fresh in their mind. Some people want to take those certified results that will tell you how well you did in each section of the exam. And it may tell you you did OK in the hardware section, but not so well in the operating system section. So now you'll know to go back and study certain areas. So that, that piece of paper you get, even if you don't pass, becomes really useful for studying later on. So now that you've seen all of that, are you ready to take your exam? We've created a lot of resources for you on freeaplus.com, plenty of videos to watch. I've got them all categorized or all indexed. You can put your comments on each one of those videos or read what other people are commenting on each video. Obviously, the message boards are there to help you. Go to professormesser.com slash forums. You have to register if you want to write a message on there. But that's just so we can keep all the spammers and the bad guys off of those forums. It's still free. You can still use all of those resources without paying any money whatsoever. I don't have private areas. There's no restricted areas. There's nothing secret about it that you would have to pay money for. You can leave as many messages as you want, as many questions as you want. You just have to register to make that happen.
So in review, we've looked at who I am. We've talked about A-plus training course information from ProfessorMesser.com. I've given you an overview of what you can expect from an A-plus certification and some best practices you can use when you walk in the door for your A-plus certification exam. If you'd like to watch any of our videos, participate in our message boards, and much more, visit our website at FreeAplus.com. Thanks for joining us.